Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hollyanna and today we're doing the first step for planting cucumbers and watermelon. Let's do it! Today we are going to be creating what are called soil blocks. So we're going to be taking this little device and making tiny blocks of compound soil. Then, then after we create these little blocks of soil, we're going to be taking our cucumber seeds and our watermelon seeds and planting them in to our little blocks of soil. This is going to let the seeds germinate in a way that is safer for the seeds. We could just plant these straight into the yard or straight into a pot, but if we plant them straight into a yard, there's a chance that we could get a frost and they could be killed. There's a chance they could be eaten by birds or animals. So starting the plants like this just gives it an extra chance to survive. The reason that we're starting by soil blocking is because soil blocking helps reduce the chance of our little seedlings going into shock whenever we're transplanting them into their individual pots. Out here we have some seedlings that my parents started two or three weeks ago. Each of these seeds was originally started in their own soil block and then transferred into their own pot once they were ready. They're currently going through a process called hardening where every single day you bring them outside. You start the first day by bringing them outside for one hour, the second day for two hours, the next day for three hours. My parents are going to continue to leave these seedlings outside for one extra hour every single day day until they're outside for a full day. Now once they're at that time period where they've been outside for a full day, they're ready for their first slumber party. This is where you leave them outside overnight for the first time. Now whenever you are leaving your seedlings outside for their first slumber party, make sure you're not going to have a frost that night, make sure you're not going to have extreme winds or really heavy rains or anything that could damage the seedlings. And once the seedlings have been completely hardened, they will be ready to be planted into the ground. These seedlings over here are tomatoes that my parents have been getting ready to plant in my grandma's garden. I'm going to be trying to do cucumbers and watermelons to plant in my backyard. Now, I know that watermelons are a little bit more difficult to grow, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I'm going to give it a shot. Without further ado, let's make some soil cubes. We are starting with a good high quality potting mix instead of using regular like garden dirt or just dirt from outside. Now, whenever you start, this stuff is pretty dry, pretty dry and floofy. You know, that's the technical term for it. <laughs> the next step is adding water. Our new dirt is about the correct consistency, it packs together really well, but it isn't soaking with water. Time to start blocking our soil. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start grabbing some dirt and making sure to remove any sort of big twigs or big things that might prevent us from making nice little cubes of dirt. We are going to pack everything in nicely. and flatten it off. Now we're gonna be making our soil blocks on a tray. Let me move the camera with my dirty hands. Sorry, one second. All right, so we're gonna be making our soil blocks on this tray. So I'm going to put this down and I'm gonna be pushing down with this little, I don't know, lever push thing. <laughs> and hold it for a second. And there we go. I have my little first set of soil blocks. And then let me hold this up so you can see it. So each one of these little, little blocks actually has a tiny indention in it and that's where we're going to be putting our seeds. So now we're just gonna rinse and repeat and continue the blocking process. Also, rinse and repeat, I mean as a figure of speech. I don't mean literally rinsing. I will not be washing my hands until this process is done. Okay. 
Okay, we have finished making our little soil blocks. Now it is time to plant our cucumbers and our watermelon seeds. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write along the edge of the tray. This half is gonna be cucumber, this half is gonna be watermelon. Does watermelon have two L's? No, it doesn't, cool. When planting seeds into these little soil cubes, I'm not going to use the outer row because that's most likely to dry out faster. And I'm gonna be skipping every other row to make sure that I give these seeds enough room. I'm gonna use toothpicks to kind of mark like which rows I'm using. That way I can know what to look for as they start to sprout. So we're gonna be going in this row, this row. Let's get out our seeds. They're blue! I did not expect that. And this is what our watermelon seeds look like. Which we are planting on this half of the tray. Our seeds are all planted. We are going to be spritzing these with water once or twice a day. One of the reasons we did this on a tray is also so we can bottom water. So if we don't wanna spray it, we can actually put water along the edges and it will go underneath of our dirt and water our little plant babies. Hello, editing Holly here. I'm currently editing our soil blocking video and somehow our very, very, very last shot of the soil blocking video got corrupted and it does not exist. But this is actually kind of special because now I can take this last little bit of this video and show you what our seedlings look like right now. In the end of the original video, I basically just said we were going to spritz our little seedlings once or twice a day until they were ready to be transplanted either into their own individual pots or straight into the garden. It's been about two weeks and these are our little seedlings now. These are the cucumbers. This side are the watermelon. They have not started to sprout yet. And if you remember those little tomato babies sitting outside at the beginning of the video, this is what they look like now. They are definitely ready to be transplanted into the garden. I am brand new to the world of plants, brand new to the world of gardening. This is my first attempt ever at a garden. And for the record, I live in the suburbs. I have a little backyard. It's on a very strange hill and I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, where the weather is all over the place. So this is going to be a complete adventure. If you'd like to follow along as I attempt to create my first ever garden, just hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.